All right. Hi, how's it going? My name is Travis May. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Dak Prescott and how I think he's one of the currently one of the best sport leaders um, at this time. Uh, starting with his, a little bit of background on Dak. Uh, Dak Prescott came out of uh, Louisiana where he played at Houghton High School. Uh, he has, um, let's see, he led his 2010 high school team to a District 1 4A championship. So he, you could say he did pretty well for himself in high school. Um, shortly after that, he enrolled in Mississippi State University where he made a couple of uh, records as well as uh, a good career for himself in Mississippi State. Uh, he played about 49 games and recorded 70 touchdowns. Uh, in 2016, right after Mississippi State, um, he got selected for, of course, the Dallas Cowboys in the fourth round and played 16 games as a rookie. Uh, so that year he was named uh, Rookie of the Year as well as Offensive Rookie of the Month. Uh, so he was doing pretty well in his first, uh, career, first year um, for the NFL. Uh, he was also ranked at the number 14 number 14 of the top 100 NFL players of 2017. So uh, he was doing pretty well for himself. So let's see. So I think that Dak's uh, greatest strength uh, for one is uh, being able to realize when he needs help and his honesty. So every leader can't do everything on their own. Uh, so when a leader like Dak recognizes that they need help, uh, it not only says um, that he's a good leader, it also says, that uh, he's just like the rest of us. So it makes it a lot easier um, th for the people that are following Dak to actually follow him because they realize they're just like each other. Um, so it kind of creates a level of respect for him. Um, so Dak um, demonstrated this when he came out in 2020 and said that he was going through a lot after his um, brother committed suicide. So he was going through a lot. He had to kind of um, come through and overcome adversity. Um, and one of his other strengths is uh, perseverance. So Dak had to overcome so many things um, that he has been with, been through um, in the Cowboys. So in 2020, he had to overcome his personal situations with his brother, like I said before. Um, and when the 2020 season started, there was a couple games where you know they were behind. Of course, y'all y'all probably remember the Falcons game where they were they were behind and they had that amazing comeback. Uh, Dak Prescott just killed it at the end of the game. He did amazing. Uh, it was just such an amazing uh, performance by him, and he just showed right there that he didn't want to quit. He wanted to sh um, show his teammates that he was there for them, and he wanted them to make sure that he was that they were there for him as well. Um, so, um, huge deficit they came back from. So this impacted his teammates and showed them that um, uh, that he was not going to go down so easily. So, which made them believe in him. So. Uh, it made for a great game to watch and as well as um, just how much people trust Dak. Um, so from what I've seen, I've had a, um, I've tried to find and what I've tried to find that Prescott, for whatever reason, I cannot find any weaknesses on, on his, in his leadership. Uh, although people might say his mental health is a weakness. Um, I don't think there's any place for somebody to attack somebody's mental health like that. That's just something not to be, you know, messed with. Uh, so uh, the two main reasons that Dak Prescott is successful is because of his honesty with his team and in the public and for being brave enough to step up uh, when things are tough. So Dak, is, Dak Prescott is loved and respected because of these attributes. All right. Thank you.